I wonder if anybody else who's had a hair transplant has done this. Cling film the sofa. Right, that's my little corner. Oh, that's weak. Run, Forrest, run! If you are new around here. This big slapper will be gone tomorrow. Well, it won't, but eventually it will. New hairline here. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. The big cleanup is on its way. Wash load two is in. Yeah. Wash load four, five, and six are going to be there. Yeah. There's others on radiators. Ed is clean. Uh, yeah. We're back to normal. We've got a nice clean kitchen. So the, earlier this morning, our friends headed back off to uh, down south. Oh. Bless you. We've stripped all the bedding, we've cleaned the bedding, we've cleaned up in here um, as Jade was using that. And uh, now Nick wants to go out for a walk. Well, I think we should go out in James maybe. Oh yeah, because we're not- We'll have a walk to the beach. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll drive- have a walk in James. We'll drive down to Mapleton Beach maybe, in James. So we get the best of both worlds. Good idea. The tide is fully in so we can't actually get down onto the beach so we're just having to sit on these rocks. Just a little chill out. Oh, Mick's sneezing. A little chill out before we go back. And then uh, I've got to start preparing my bag for Friday. I'm not actually staying in overnight or anything but uh, I want to take my Kindle so I've got something to read and just some shorts so it's a really hot day in the clinic and things like that. Uh, so the waves are crashing on the rocks here. Whoa. <laughs> you might be getting wet in a minute or two. Splashy. Yeah. Wet, I do hope it splashes you just while I'm filming. Well, if it does, I'll make sure it gets you. Just having a nice little chill on the beach now. But it's all cold. Found a spot which is uh, quite sheltered from the wind. This is like this type of little hidden spot, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. You've seen the pink donuts, the coffee. Oh, I could just drink a Joffrey's coffee. Um, so, uh, Nick's feeling a bit down now, aren't you? Yeah. Holiday blues now, everyone's gone home. Yeah, well, even though we're not on holiday, I haven't been. No, it's but it's been nice. Like it. Well, you it's should just be happy. Feeling. You're still with me. Oh, yeah. What were you going to say? The strange thing, what? I said it's a strange feeling. The fact that we've not actually been away, but we feel like we've come back off a holiday. I know what'll make you feel better when we get back to the lodge. Cleaning cars. No chance. Right, I'm just going to iron some clothes that I think I'm going to wear on Friday. So they said just wear some joggers, so um, you kind of nicely just chilled and relaxed. So I've washed those, even though they don't look like they've been washed because I've got a bit of paint on. But I'm going to use the wash them. Uh, sorry, iron them, iron them, and then I think just in case I don't want to put them on, I'm also going to. I wonder if it's going to be warm on Friday. Do you think it's going to be warm for the next two weeks at both the lodge Ooh, and here. I best iron a short sleeve shirt as well, just in case That's then. Not short sleeve. I know, but I'm going to take that as well. Why don't you take a proper short sleeve? Yeah, I'm going to do. So you can just. I'm going to do. I wonder if anybody else who's had a hair transplant has done this. Cling film the sofa. I would imagine so, since they don't want to get hair pus on the on their um, their sofa, blood, guts. Seeping. Ugh. You'll be thankful when I've got a head full of hair. I'll be thankful when sofa's intact. Save some of that for my neck ring. My neck thing in your Your neck thing I'm not bothered about. It doesn't cost bugger all that thing. It's better last a week. Eh, uh, well. Because she's looking at someone for a week. No, no, no. You'll have the bed to yourself for a whole week, the first time ever. First time ever? I don't think so, because in lockdown when you had your um, your stomach pain, eh, whatever it was, I slept in spare room for a week. Which one? Are you just going to do that one and that one? Yeah. Right, that's my little corner. Oh, that squeaks. I know, I can't. You laughed. I said you laughed. <laughs> there you go. That's for more head dribbles. And then I'll probably put down. like the, um, the what do you call it there? The bean bag. Maybe bring the bean bag from the apartment so I've got one at side of me each side. It should end this having it done, not your yeah. big hands. There we go. All sorted. Sorted. Dribble away now. Right, the sofa's all prepared. Um, 
We were toying with the idea of going back to the apartment but today. I put my foot down. So we are actually going to go and take the car up to the car park in Suaby in North Bridlington and just overlook the sea, call at McDonald's, get a couple of PG tips and just um, just chill like we did that time. Can you remember when we first got park at Parker? James. Yep. Um, I have actually removed from James as well the underlay which was actually sopping wet. I've just squeezed it out on the decking. Um, all these little bits have fallen off it. It's actually dribbling. So that's been removed and I've put a dehumidifier on the front seat and pulled the carpet up. So the carpet's really thin, so that should dry out hopefully. And um, by the time we get back on Friday night, Saturday morning, that should be dry and I can put it back in and uh, James should be smelling very fresh and beautiful. When you're looking after me. Saturday you morning. can screw off. <laughs> right, the queue for McDonald's was massive. So we've come to an Esso garage that's got a, um, a, like an express Starbucks. Ignore the peeping van behind me. So he's gone in. There we go. Starbucks. So um, don't know what, whether he'll come back with another treat or not. Run, Ferris, run! What did you get me? A hot chocolate. Did they not have a decaf? No, I couldn't figure out how to make the Ooh. machine do decaf. How do we... Um, what do you mean? Pull the slot. Pull the little drink things. Right, there we go. Ish. Kind Wait a minute, you couldn't figure out how to do decaf. 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 So they had decaf. No, no I, don't, I couldn't figure it out. It said first I had to get myself a blonde roast because I couldn't figure out decaf. Anyway, let's go. Well, whatever. Right, here we are. This is where we like to park. It was very quiet the last time. Well, it's not too bad this time. Um, I thought it was going to be really busy because everywhere's been busy. Oh, careful on these bumps. Don't want us coffee going everywhere. Hey, so if you need to know where this is, just set your sat nav to the um, is it Bond Model Village? Yeah, the mo Model Village in Suaby, which is just behind us there. Which we did go into once, and I did a really good vlog on the Model Village. And then I got back um, to ha the, uh, and then I got back home. Deleted it. And deleted it all by accident as I was just about to start transferring it, and I was gutted. To this day, I'm gutted. Actually, we'll have to go again. And that's our view for this evening. A lot uh, warmer this time. Uh, so, uh, see which is yours. Right. Uh, well, you, there's nobody who writes it on for you, the one it well, comes from a machine, so just sniff it and taste right. it. Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it nice? Ooh, it's not warm at all. It's like clap coal, man. <sighs> so we're just sat here, people watching, on the seafront, having a Starbucks. Dog shit watching, more like. Yeah. Um, the family to the right hand side of us has just let the dog crap and they've just literally ignored it and thrown the ball. So fingers crossed they'll slip in it and um, we can uh, vlog it. We were just saying there's a lot of um, like bed and breakfast over in Bridlington and it's that feeling that we got when we were in Fortaventura that when you're there, when you watch, when you watch people and it's like, help me out. What would I, how would I, how People it? watching, you, 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 you see somebody and you try and put yourself in their shoes, what their life must be like, what they're doing, what their what their lifestyle is, their family. Do you know what I mean? It's just people watching. You try and you try and yeah. understand somebody, don't you? Yeah. And um, this Starbucks blonde roast is beautiful, by the way. What were your hot chocolate like? Cold. Right, we decided to head home to the apartment so that we've got a full day tomorrow because Nick's got a few things he may need to do for work. Uh, I can get um, properly prepared for Friday. And I've got to call up my mum as well to pick some stuff up. So, we are on our way home. I'm hoping we've got some food. Oh, that's right. Hoping we've got some food at the apartment because I will be hungry when we get there. Mm -hmm. We need to call it a shop then. Well, I think we've got some skin on fries and some toast. And I'm suffering terribly from smartphone pinky. Mm, yeah. Nick's got this thing called smartphone pinky um, where you hold your phone on, on your little finger. It rests on your little finger while you type. Yeah and he does the same with his tablet as well. So he's got like repetitive strain injury in his, in his little pinky, he's been looking it up. Bad my wrist. So you'll just have to stop going on your phone all day long. I'll just change hands. Right, we're back at the apartment and we're having something to eat because we haven't had anything to eat. Um, I'm having a couple of crumpets and um, might have a protein strawberry yogurt. It's been a strange, strange day because I feel like I've got holiday blues. I don't know why, I just do. Lee's obviously got things on his mind because of his, his hairdo that he's having. Yeah, so my mind's occupied. And oh, it's bloody warm in here. Remark. What? It's warm in here, freaking out. 28 out. degrees and the heat is not been on. It's really just <laughs> picking up the heat. 
I am going to, even though I'm warm though, I'm going to have a chamomile tea with my crumpets. What have we got here? Open the patio door where we can sit out. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose it's nice and warm enough, 18 isn't it? 18 degrees outside. Yeah, we did what? A, a bagel. I mean, the last bagel that we had when Manor and, uh, Manor and Hark, when Hannah and Mark was here. Every time, every time I do something, I'm being <laughs> reminded of this time last week we were doing this, this time last week we were doing that. These bagels, by the way, where they're from, are absolutely beautiful. Aldi. They're really, like, chewy when you when you bite into them. They're really nice. Oh, I can't bother toast. Oh, I need to read it, don't I? What are you doing? Cleaning the table now. <laughs> Bits have gone. Let's go to the rover. Oh, I see. Thank God. Um, oh. What are we having for breakfast? Um, cinnamon raisin bagels, peppermint tea. Don't let them burn. I'm going to just put them in. They will burn now. I should reset the timer. Hot, hot, hot. No butter? No. What's the plans for today? The sun's not out, is it? Who gives a shit about the sun? I'm sick of the sun. Um, today's plan is to go to B&Q and get enough tiles to tile the upstairs bathroom, which I've actually discovered it's actually the same size as the one downstairs. Mm. Because the downstairs one shares the understairs cupboard area, whereas mm. the upstairs one shares the wardrobe area. So they are the same size, they're just kind of offset slightly. Mm. So um, if I've worked it out right, and to allow for tiler error, um, I think we're going to need 33 packs. Oh, and we've got to bring all of them up from the car. I'm afraid so. And we've also got to find matching numbers as well this time. So that should be a joyful task. <laughs> right, we're up, dressed, showered, not tidied. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow while Lee's having his hair do. Um, we are now going to go to b and and try and get the tiles for the upstairs bathroom. We're going to struggle because we need 33 packs of the same batch number, which means we're probably going to have to drive around a couple of b and to try and get the amount. And I need to factor in at least another 20% plus five packs for uh, the tiler since he was basically using them left, right and centre last time. It sounds like a lot to me. It sounds like a lot. 33 packs of, of um, tiles up three flights of stairs. No thank you. Gotta do it. New battery. Right, before we head off, we have some YouTube members and patrons shout out some birthdays to do. Um, so the first one is Natalie Pinker, who joined us on um, or joined our channel YouTube members. So Hi, Natalie. welcome Natalie. Okay, so the next one is for Gemma and Matt and it's their 11th and, uh, wedding anniversary. Uh, so happy anniversary guys. We saw those guys at Snowden, they walked Snowden with us, even though they're bears. Yeah. Um, it's their wedding anniversary on the 5th, so happy anniversary guys. Hope the kids are um, going to treat you to a, a relaxing day. So this next one is, we've had a, an email from his daughter. Now we met Simon, Simon P, in Bath last year. Yeah. Um, he's a surfing geezer and he's 50 years old. Let me see if she said what date is, is 50. Happy 50th, Simon. Simon loves going to Disney on his own. Yeah, he does. Actually. I don't I don't understand that. I would not never I, do that, would you? I don't know, I wouldn't mind trying to date me, but just to see what it's like. Yeah, it's, it, she, just, she just says that he turns 50 in June. Um, happy birthday, and She just Simon. says if we can wish him a happy birthday. Yeah. So, um, happy birthday, geezer. Right, let's go out and get these tiles. Come on then. Right, first being q we managed to get 19 packs. Eight short now. Yeah, we actually Recalculated need... Recalculated, but we Yeah, short. we need 27, not 33 like we said. Uh, so we've got to get these in the car and then head to the next being q Ugh. Right, we're here and there's a pink monster there. Second being q of the day, hopefully the last being q of the day. We need six, uh, no, seven nine. of a particular, I keep forgetting, nine of a particular batch number. Back out we go, they don't have the right ones here. Right, on to the third B&Q, hopefully the last B&Q. Well, these, this is the branch that's got the most in stock. Yeah. Well, no, Castleford's got more, but that's quite a bit of a drive. But we've, it, we have to have the same batch and they had none of our batch in there at all. Yep. So what we might have to do, I can see us, Taking these lot back and buying everything again at a branch that's got everything. Right, we've found two of the um, correct batch numbers. Mm. Nick's had to climb all the way in there to see if he can find more. He found one, it's right at the bottom, typically. Um, so, fingers crossed, there's some more in this uh, tower. There's no flatbeds anywhere, I'll have to get them this trolley. Uh. Right, we've found everything we need. Oh, Thank seven, God. Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one pair. Yes. 
right, we've got them all. So now comes the arduous task of t getting 27 packs of tiles up to the apartment on the little um, trolley thing. So do, what do you think, five tiles per trip? Uh, five tiles per trip, five that packs per trip. six trips basically. I'm peckish now and all, really hungry, it's half past one. Me too. At least it's, it's taking my mind off tomorrow, which is my hair transplant tomorrow. And keeping me busy, we keeping have, me occupied. We'll have some work stuff happening this afternoon. Yeah, so that's giving so me I'm waiting for a well. call. So if that happens, then we then have to drive to Dewsbury for work and then drive back over here again. And it's like just non stop. Right, we just nipped up to Subway for a nice little salad. Gonna eat this and then we've gotta go to easy bathrooms, haven't we? to have a look at showers. Right, we're just checking out. Not much choice, there's loads. Too oh, too much choice, yeah. Um, we're just checking out shower, um, what do you call them? Shower trays. Trays, that's it. We so need that to choose is... one. Like, that's not, that's I like not... the sinks. And I like those mirrors too. So, uh, I don't like those tiles, yuck. Me neither. Looks very um, Grand Floridian, mm. doesn't it? This one's almost the same as what we've got already. And the tap to match as well. Taps are identical. Almost exactly the same. Yeah, we pick good, don't we? We do. My God, it's all moved, all go today. At least clearly awake and paying attention. So we've just been to look at shower screens and while we're there, I got a call from work. So we had to drop everything, drive to Dewsbury. We've had to pick something up, uh, work related stuff, which is boring. Um, I'm gonna be busy with that now tomorrow while he's having his new hairdo. Yeah, I'm looking um, forward to just also, there for 12 hours having nothing else to do. I'm also going to take the old bathroom out of the apartment it's and upstairs. the tiles now are all ready. We've got 28 packs, which is more than we need um, to do that room. Um, and then we'll have some spares just in case everyone breaks or anything like that. Um, we are now on our way to pick up um, a parcel from Lee's mum's. Then we're going to call and see the kids. Then we're going to go back to the apartment and start flicking through this brochure that we've just got from Easy Bathrooms for shower, for shower trays. I'm having my tea and I'm off to bed at 8 o'clock because I'm up at 5am. Alright, Nana. If I, I'm up at 5am. Oh, we're up at 5am. Oh, it's up at 5am, everybody. I can't be sitting in that chair. It's up at 5am. The technicians are working on my head and we're like... Why? You do it anyway. <laughs> Will you be going to bed with your slippers and holics? It does say bring your slippers so you can walk around in break time. Okay, Nana. We're finally back at the apartment after what seems like a whole day of driving here, there and everywhere. Doing this job, that job, this job, that job. We're just microwaving our evening meal. Because that's all we can be asked doing. We got it from Tesco and I could just smash a large glass of red wine. Oh god, that would make the day so much better. <laughs> but I can't. Because of my hair tomorrow, I can't. <laughs> you did say you can have a glass of wine the night before. Oh no, I'm not going to risk it. But we haven't got it, so uh, you can't. Oh well, I'm not risking it anyway. Gonna risk it? What do you think it's going to do about your hair bleeding for? Yes, but the, the um, patient document information that we've got says don't have any alcohol for three days. But they do mean like, don't go on a bender. She said to you, don't go on a bender. Yeah. So, I'm going to have my meal now, let's have a look at it. Well, it's got garlic in it, so. It looks so appetising. Got a spoon. <laughs> well, I want a bowl as well, I want to make it look a bit nicer. It's some kind of like pulled beef or something and mash. Beef bouillon. That's it. And mash. So. Is it actually beef bouillon? And it's a Tesco finest one as well. Well is that why it's got the fried onions on the yeah, mash? Yeah, yeah. That Tesco beef bouillon, whatever it's called, looks quite nice actually. You mean beef mash? That's pulled, what it was. Pulled beef. beef and mash, that's what I'd call beef with mash. gravy. Um so we're both very tired now. I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't know why. I think it's the heat, it's really hot in here tonight. Yeah. Sweat my tits off. It is very warm in the apartment tonight, even though the sun hasn't been out all day. Thank God the sun hasn't been out all day because it would have been even hotter in here. How can how can it be so warm when the sun's not even been out? I don't know what it is. It's 30 degrees up here. It's about 25 downstairs and it's about 21 outside. So, Ooh. it's Ooh. about half past eight now, um, which means I'm going to finish this vlog, I'm going to edit it, and then <sighs> I'm going to go to bed because I'm up at 5 a.m. There's nothing I hate worse than not having a good night's sleep. So I'm up at 5 a.m., have to shower, have some breakfast. And then he's off for a new hairdo. <laughs> and then Nick's dropping me off at 7 a.m. Then I have to go Nick, to... Excuse me. 
you missed a bit out. Nicky's gonna come into the consultation with me and film a little bit. He's gonna, I think, film me getting my head shaved. Oh, I can do that for you. <laughs> They're gonna draw some more lines on it and then shave him bald and that's the only thing I'm gonna think about all day long that he looked like your Uncle Brian. Because I know what you look like with no hair because I've done that face tune app. And you do actually look like your Uncle Brian. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Brian. Um, so there we go. That's the next vlog. You're gonna film. As, I'm, I'll film as much as I can, but obviously I'm gonna be in the chair for 12 hours. Are you so. taking the tripod? Yeah. So you can do some time lapses. Yeah. I've got the uh, separate camera. I'm gonna film here. We're gonna sync the time, sync, time indexes up on the camera so I can basically, because we'll be talking to each other on WhatsApp throughout the day, so whatever I'm doing, I can slot in. I have got to go to um, whatever. So a business. Wait a minute. I've got to go to a business hub to drop some keys off and then do some work. Then I'm going to go and get the car washed. You got a busy day tomorrow. Haven't then you? I'm going to come back here and start on the bathroom and get that all done. Tidy the apartment. Pack your stuff in the car and be back at the hair clinic by six o'clock. Now I, set off from here. Yeah, I think at six o'clock. I think I, I just wish it were this time tomorrow because it'll be over and I'll be on my way back to the lodge. And then it's a two-hour drive back to the lodge. Yeah. So another hectic day. Today has been absolutely mental. It might not seem it on the vlog, but it's been absolutely it nuts. Been, that's why we have it. not stopped. It and took I us ages out. to get all those tiles up. Well, I worked out. There's 27 boxes of tiles, and each one's 10 kilos each, and I carried each one four times. That's that's over a ton I've carried. And I'm sat here thinking, why are my shoulders aching? Why are my arms aching? Because I'm bloody knackered. So you've got a hectic day tomorrow. To be fair, mine's not going to be hectic, just sort of... Lazy. Oh, I'm going to be sat in a chair and Somebody else is doing all work. I've got a bit of anxiety at the moment in my stomach about oh, it. Oh God, take a tablet. <laughs> um, as most people do when they're having like a surgical procedure the next day. It's not even as bad as having your teeth out. I don't know, I've never had a tooth out. Well, I have actually when I was a baby, uh, when I was younger. So, well, thanks for watching today, guys. Check out the next vlog for my hair transplant story. Um, like I say, I will vlog as much as I can, but I obviously I'm going to be sat in a chair for most of the day, having my head popped. We will be doing. Um, a, 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 we're going to we're going to be recording footage and then creating a one-year documentary at the end of the year for the whole it's going to take a while journey for it to um, look right. I am going to have a few months now of looking like an ugly duckling, which obviously you guys a few more months you guys will see on the vlog. So thanks for watching, today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, hit the hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. This big slapper will be gone tomorrow. Well, it won't, but eventually it will. New hairline here. Drop us a comment below and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye for now.